Hello ham friends, this is Hotel Bravo 9 Echo Alpha Juliet on the last meters up to the summit Eau de la Brampas. In the meantime I arrived at the summit and I already did five QSOs on 60 meters, uh, two of them with Italy uh, one with a, a German station from uh, Hessen and uh, two Swiss and uh, this is possible because it's on 60 meters it's really nice to have contact with so close by stations as you can imagine maybe the ones who know me I use my half wave end fed the ones I wrote a document about it's a seven band half wave end fed and uh, it's the standard one, it's a long one, so it's about uh, 20 meters long and uh, it's, uh, it's actually not an inverted L at the moment, it, uh, it bent a bit down but uh, it gets as good as it gets and just another detail I want to show you is this support at the bottom so that's the reason why it sometimes bends but in nearly every activation I do that's fine for me that's the support I bought from Decathlon so in the background you hear the transceiver which is the reason why I want to show you quickly um, about the sound uh, mainly so I actually uh, now I have the preamplifier enabled, if I'm correct, yes. And I go a bit closer. Nobody's talking right now on this frequency. Um, this, at the moment I have the filter up to uh, 3100 Hertz is the upper uh, cutoff frequency. So. Let me change that a bit, just that you hear how much that changes, because I had such question before on the reflector. And uh, so this is, this is easily changeable. Let me go out of this menu. I'm just pressing a filter once more. I can also go to equalizer, but for that maybe to show you better, I I change the filter back to something more feasible. So, and now I go to the equalizer and the high frequencies. There's actually on 50, that is the standard setting. I can also go here down and I get a very similar effect. Um, the power, I increase it a bit. So I changed the antenna that it is uh, resonant on a 20 uh, on a 40 20 15 and 10 meter band and I just by chance uh, turning around I saw that there is a soda going on on the 40 um, while playing around I reduced the filter bandwidth the cutoff frequency of the higher and so some people may prefer that I prefer it a bit wider if there is not too much noise above so this is pretty uh, standard setting I'm using. I have now the preamplifier in. I switch it off. And to give you, I enable it maybe once more. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I get him 
afterwards in the log. So, but let me quickly show you. Um, so here we have the equalizing and that is the standard setting. One can of course also reduce that. That is the other possibility to narrow a bit the uh, or um, reduce the amplification of the higher frequencies. But uh, I wouldn't do that too much. But that's a really a personal thing. Everybody has his preferences in that. Okay. So just to give you a rough idea how it sounds, I let it run a bit. That was the notch filter before I needed it, but if I don't have to, um, it doesn't sound better. Noise blanker is not a big difference, but the noise reduction really is for me not really usable on SSB. As you can see, this uh, glare display is a bit, uh, let's say, suboptimal in for outdoors, but I can live with it. But I prefer to have not the not such a, a mirror in front of me. If I do it like that, I can see the sky. So I found finally a nice way and if I'm not mistaken, looking at the OSM map, this will be the summit. Uh, to reach it I have to make a small detour and crossing a small valley. I guess it's about uh, 350 meters around uh, vertical elevation difference. So not too hard. See you in a minute. Okay, I just arrived at the summit, did the Fellering, uh, Foxtrot Lima, stroke Victor Oscar 008. And it really looks like a nice place here. I have to look where I put my antenna up. And uh, yeah, then I will try the TX500 another time and can show you maybe some other things. Maybe I make an S SWR measurement. I took an analyzer with me, so let's see. And But first, I want to make the chasers happy. Let's work first. See you in a minute. So I just sent a second spot on 40 meters and made another eight contacts. And uh, now um, probably you hear this QRN, this static noise. I want to try the SWR and compare it with uh, what the analyzer says. Of course, I will measure it at the transceiver, not at the antenna. So bear in mind that actually the, 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 the value will be worse than what I measure now. 
so I checked before that this frequency is free so let's try here on uh, 40 meters so so let's check it out um, right it says around 1.2 so in reality, we have here at this 7.065 megacycles, we measure 1.57. Uh, the best is a bit below um, at uh, 1.2. But so we see the SWR that is shown of the TX500 is a bit uh, optimistic. Um, let's check it out on a 20 meter. We measure an SWR of 1.1. Yeah, and here on 20 meters, instead of an SWR of 1.1 uh, at the 14.175, we measure an SWR of 1.31. So 1.3 instead of 1.1. Um, yeah, also here in 20 we have a, a difference of 0 0.2. Seems like there is a thunderstorm approaching us. I checked the radar and it's, uh, it's not a huge one, but we will be in the center. That's for sure. So that's a good test for the TX500, I would say. That's exactly what I was uh, looking for. I had some contacts just before and 60 meters, but it's uh, it's very difficult because there is so much static. Maybe now it went a bit back, but uh, just that you get the impression how the static is now, or it was just now. You see some drops, but it's nothing really severe even uh, even other other simple um, transceivers half open should be able to cope with that but uh, you can see maybe so the it's s9 around s9 I, I enabled the noise blanker but that's not really helping so disable the things <coughs> you don't need but uh, the thunder is approaching I don't know if one can hear it so yeah it's it's a good test it's exactly that what I want what I don't want is uh, that there are flashes uh, too close from here so there is another ham calling me probably but uh, yeah, I, I, I can't talk and film, as I said, unfortunately. Anyway, it's, it's really difficult uh, to understand people with so much cure and uh, Nancy. I reduced also the filter. Now I reduce it even more to 1.8 kilos. But. Uh, Yeah, it helps a bit, but not too much, no? So more rain and uh, still a lot of static. Sometimes peaking uh, 10, 20 dBs over 9. But uh, nothing severe. And uh, oh, now even a bit of uh, sun is coming back. And uh, happily there are no flashes, or at least I didn't see them. And uh, no thunder at the moment, I hear. So, yeah. But I think that's a good test, uh, how the radio works under this condition. Let's change the band. Maybe... Uh, So I just I tune around. Yeah, 
Sounds like an Italian. And but even on 20 meters, so much static right now. Well, actually, now I made some contacts on 17 meters where the antenna is in resonance. It was raining on and off, so I called it a day. And while I put down the antenna, I saw many uh, blueberries to be eaten. And I tried them and they are actually ripe already. I thought that they are much more behind. The vegetation this year is pretty behind but they're fine. Next to them, they're raspberries, but these ones are not ripe yet. But I saw also blueberry on the way. So, enough food up here, if you're hungry. Good that there are no bears. <laughs> okay, it was nice and maybe I could give you some information about the TX500. 73. Bye bye.